Today, we bring you the curious story of Levi and Matilda Stanley, the king and queen of the gypsies. Although Levi would explain that the king and queen title was simply honorary, that doesn't diminish their influence on the gypsy lifestyle. The title of king actually originated with the father of Levi, who passed the title on to him. Levi had a brother named Benjamin, but he was disowned by their father, and whatever happened must have been big because not only was a supposed curse put on him, but it was also put on the next three generations that followed him. Levi Stanley and Matilda Joles were born in England and were part of the same circle of gypsies. They would claim to have moved to America when Buchanan was king. Records would show that Levi and his brother appeared on a passenger list in 1854 and were on a boat bound for New York City from Scotland. During summer months, their headquarters would be listed as Dayton, Ohio, where we are today. Dayton would become the center of the gypsies of the country. When winter months would arrive, the gypsies would parade down Main Street and depart for warmer climates. I know we've spent a lot of time looking at Levi, however, I truly believe that Matilda is part of the duo that would launch the Stanleys into folklore. Matilda was said to have remarkable powers such as fortune telling and the ability to charm and mesmerize. Well, naturally, when people of the day heard about this, it sparked rumors and curiosity. Matilda was described as a plain and hearty looking woman. It was said that her gimmick, whether real or make-believe, was passed down to her, being the eldest daughter, and that her and her alone knew the secrets. Now let's bring things back to earth just a little bit here. Contrary to what everybody thought about them in that day, the Stanleys were reverent in the church in the independent order of Oddfellows. I believe that in today's terms, they would have been referred to simply as eccentric. Matilda passed away in 1878 after a two-year illness. It was said that she was embalmed because they wanted her body to retain the natural aspect of life. Her body would be placed in a receiving vault here at Woodland Cemetery and a funeral would be held eight months later. An astounding 20,000 people came to pay their respects to Matilda. Keep in mind, in the gypsy circles, this was their queen, and many chiefs and their tribes from multiple countries came to the funeral. The funeral would warrant newspaper stories and articles from major publications, including the New York Times. In a stark contrast, when Levi died 30 years later, there was barely a word of his passing, and now there are many members of the Stanley and extended families in the plot in which we are currently standing. You know, I have spent some time here in Dayton. I've done several stories here in Dayton, and you talk about a hub that brought many different, not only nationalities, but ways of life, walks of life, a hub that brought all of those together is here in Dayton, Ohio. I mean, you may have a classic inventor of some invention that we still use today and you may also have the king and queen of the gypsies buried right here and that's who we are looking at today levi and matilda stanley really just an unbelievable story from the fabric of america right here in dayton ohio woodland cemetery i love coming here there are so many stories that you can tell just from this one place alone and i've got more to come i've already told some of those but I love coming to Woodland Cemetery in Dayton, Ohio. And I would love to hear from you at this point in the comments. Levi and Matilda Stanley, have you heard of those names? Are you familiar with their fame and what they were known for? Before coming and researching this story, I had no idea. So this was news for me and I really enjoyed uh, telling the story, reading about the story and learning about this phenomenal story. And admittedly, I don't know a lot about the gypsy lifestyle. Obviously, I've heard of it, and I've put some research in, of course, for this video, but it's not something that I was really steeped in or really familiar with before I told the story. So that is one fringe benefit of doing this channel is, you know, I learned stuff that I didn't even know myself, but when I read about the story, I thought, you know, this is an interesting tale here, and I really felt like that my subscribers would enjoy it. So yeah, if you don't mind, 
leave me a comment below. Do you like these types of stories? And also, I am so curious if anyone out there has heard of Levi and Matilda Stanley. Let me know. Also, I'm going to leave links in the description where you can find me. Uh, my Patreon account, I will list that there. I'm going to be doing some exclusive content for that. Also, if you've never watched my channel before, most of my videos, nearly all of them, take place in a cemetery. I love going to cemeteries, telling the history and telling the stories of those that I visit. So please click subscribe and join me. It's totally free. And if you click that little bell beside the note beside of the uh, subscribe button, then that will give you notification of when I load more videos. I would love to have you. We have a great little family on my Whit Docs channel. I call it my Whit Docs family. I love our little corner of YouTube here, so I invite you to join us. So please click subscribe. Come along. We would love to have you. Another video of mine will be on the screen soon. It is my hopes that you will watch it. Once again, from Woodland Cemetery in Dayton, Ohio, I will see you again soon.